for this video, the objective is just to look at a special case um, of an effective stress. So, in this example, the water table is actually above the soil surface. So, I mean, you can think of this as a river or a lake. So, we've got a lake which is a certain depth of water, and we want to find the effective stress at some point below the surface of this lake or river. Okay? So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the effective stress, right? So, the effective stress will be the weight of the water, so it will be 1 times gamma W, which is 9.81, plus 4 meters, because it's 5 minus 1, plus 4 meters of gamma sat, which is 20 kilonewtons per meter cubed. So if we work this out, it's going to be 9.81 plus 4 by 20, we get 89.8 kPa. Okay? Now the pore water pressure is actually the full depth, right? So it's going to be 5 meters of 9.81. Okay? It's 5 times gamma W, so 5 times 9.81. So we get 5 by 9.81, 49.1 kPa, which means that the effective stress will equal sigma V minus the pore water pressure, which is 89.8 minus 49.1, so 89.8 minus 49.1, we get 40.7 kPa. Okay, that's all I want to show you. It's just a little bit different when the water table is above the surface of the soil, such as a lake. Um, we're going to be getting five times the pore water pressure, because we're at a depth of five, and obviously this becomes fully saturated. Okay, and also the sigma V is not only the weight of the soil, but we've got one meter of water on top of that as well. Okay, hope that helps guys.